all right guys Kirk here from motor gear tv thank you guys for tuning in once again we're going to get things started off by talking about a pretty interesting topic and that is ceramic coating your wheels now as you guys would have seen from some of the previous episodes i got to reveal my brand new wheel setup for the m2 basen hf5 it's in a nice satin gold finish before we went ahead and mounted them i decided to go ahead and get them ceramic coated now ceramic coating is a pretty easy process it helps to protect your wheels from dirt and debris especially brake dust now this is something we typically do on all of our wheels just to make sure that it's easier to clean now as usual this is going to be a pretty quick and easy setup not too hard we're going to walk you guys through the entire process the brand we decided to go with today is g technique they have a c5 wheel armor that's pretty good we've used this in the past on both my car and mark's car with pretty good results now normally if you're doing it on used wheels you'd have to go ahead and decontaminate the wheels but because this is a brand new wheel that is freshly powder coated we don't have to go through all of those steps but for right now just want to walk you guys through the process show you how easy it's done and hopefully you guys will be able to see the overall benefits once we're finished so stay tuned guys let's get started all right all right so here is the wheel now this is obviously before we got them mounted as i mentioned before we'll be going with g technique c5 now this is our go-to ceramic coating for wheels um, you can basically use these on wheels um, your brake calipers and also your exhaust tips pretty easy to apply the main thing you want to focus on is making sure that the wheel is free of oil and contaminants again because this is a brand new wheel we don't have to do too much prep work we are going to rinse them off and then spray it with a panel wipe this one is from adam's polishes from there before we go ahead and apply the ceramic coating just going to make sure that the wheels are nice and clean and dry we can go ahead and open this up now from what i know they come in two different sizes a 15 mil and a 30 mil this is 30 mil version this is typically good for wheels that are this size which is 19 inch or larger it should be able to cover all four wheels we're going to be covering the face and also the inner barrel of the wheel again we just want to make sure that all the sections that we need to get protected are going to be coated so not really too focused on the outer barrel simply because this is going to be covered by the tile again Again, just the face and the inner barrel should be fine. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using Adam Surface Prep. This is similar to a panel wipe. It's alcohol based. This is going to remove any remaining contaminants that are going to be on the wheel. Pretty much you can apply it in one of two ways. You can either spray it on your microfiber towel or you can spray it on the surface. Because we've used this in the past, we're just going to dust it lightly on the wheel and then wipe it off. gloves out now that the surface is nice and clean we're gonna go ahead and apply the ceramic coating what i really like about g technique is very easy to use uh, the application process is pretty straightforward and then when it's fully applied it gives you about two years protection now the bottle as i mentioned before this is a 30 ml bottle this is perfect enough for four wheels the process is going to be pretty straightforward once we get this opened up we're going to drop a few droplets on the application pad from there we're gonna wipe the surface left to right, up and down, and then give it about 30 to 60 seconds to dry. Once it's dried, we're gonna wipe it off again with this brand new microfiber towel. And then we're gonna leave it overnight for a few hours just to cure and make sure everything is nice and dry before we put it on the car. All right, so here you have it, C5 wheel armor. It's a pretty small bottle, but trust me, it's more than enough to get the surface covered. It does come with a few application pads, as I mentioned before. Now you're only gonna to wanna to use a few of these at a time, simply because it's gonna become very sticky once you have too much coating on it. Yeah, it comes with four, so what we're probably gonna do, we're gonna use one pad for each wheel. 
Making some progress in the application. As I said before, you only need a few couple droplets on the application pad. From there, you're gonna apply it evenly on the surface. I'm just basically doing it spoke by spoke, taking my time. After everything is applied, wait 60 seconds, wipe it off evenly again, just to make sure that the coating nice and smooth along the entire surface. And then from there, we're gonna put this one back and then start on the next wheel. Yeah, so just a few drops. Everywhere that I want to get coated, I'm gonna make sure that we're wiping it nice and smooth. Not too much pressure either, you don't need to rub it in. Now it's been about a minute, let's go ahead and buff the surface. As I mentioned before, nice and steady. Don't need to go too hard, up and down, side to side. Just making sure that you take care of every little excess that was left on it. And then when you move on to the next panel, try not to touch any surface that you've already wiped. And now we've moved on to one of the final steps, that's coating the inner barrel. We're gonna do about half of the barrel at a time, allow it to dry and then wipe it off. We're gonna want it to cure for about 12 hours and then after that it should be fine. have it we got the entire surface coated i think what we're going to do right now is finish up the other three wheels have them dry overnight and then most likely in a few days we're going to have them mounted and show you guys the exact benefits of what the coating will do So the wheels are finally mounted on the tires as you guys would have seen from the previous video we did reveal them on the car already but I just wanted to take this time to kind of show you how it's looking right now and also give you guys a first hand example of the hydrophobic qualities of the G-Technic wheel coating.
and I know this might be a little preliminary but as you guys can see the water is definitely beading on top of the wheels and this is just a little small example of exactly what the coating does hopefully this should make it much easier to clean them in the future and make the overall maintenance just a little easier for me and that's going to wrap up the video on the c5 wheel coating if you guys enjoyed this one make sure to subscribe and check out the other videos of the m2 that we have listed on the channel and if you are interested in how my one year ownership experience has been be sure to check the link for that down below that's going to do it for today's episode guys until the next one we're gone